Hey, welcome back. This is Adam with Global Abundance LLC back with another video. So on this channel, we talk all things real estate, a uh, little bit of mindset sprinkled in there and financial literacy. So today I'm continuing on uh, about credit. I want to help you guys out. Uh, so today's video was basically going to be about six things you can do to you know, help keep your credit utilization down. Um, actually seven. So, you know, uh, we'll, we'll get into that. Uh, we have a free VIP group where, you know, we share, uh, our experiences. Um, we dig deep into the real estate industry, residential and commercial. And, uh, we answer all the tough questions. It's a free VIP group that we have. We'd love to, to you know, have you there and, um, you know, uh, grow with us. So if you'd like to join, I'll leave the link for that below in the description. Um, so moving along today, uh, this video is about credit and, you know, keeping your utilization low. You know, you want to avoid high utilization. You know, utilization is one of the major components of your credit score it's 30 percent you know if you're looking at a pie chart you know you've got 30 percent which is utilization you've got 35 percent which is uh your payment history those are the two bulk um you know pieces of the pie you know to really keep your credit in in good shape i'll talk about the other you know, uh, components and pieces, you know, in later videos, but, you know, we want to focus on the, on the major, the major components here. So first off, uh, if I'm looking down, I'm, I, I have some, some notes here. So first off, you want to pay off your debt full in each month. Um, if you can, you know, do whatever you have to do to, uh, keep that balance down now understand you might have multiple cards and they say you have three cards we'll use an example you have three cards one is due on the first one is due on the you know the 10th one is due on the 15th all right so those are the due dates but the day that is actually going to report is usually uh a few days after the due date is where the credit card company or the bank will actually report your balance, whatever it is, to the credit uh, reporting agencies. So you want to you, you want to time your you know, which is which is another point is you want to time your payments wisely. All right. So uh, it's OK to max out your card if you if you if you need to now i'm not talking about go max your card out for bullshit all right excuse my language but seriously y'all like we got to be good stewards of of our finances we got to be able to manage our money properly you know um uh, in order for us to rise up and elevate in the world we have to learn from our mistakes learn from other people's mistakes you know i used to sit down and I still do sit down with my elders and, and people that are 30, 40 years older than me um, and soak up the game from the mistakes they made and, and things that they they learned when they were my age and, and younger because by not going out and bumping your own head to learn, you know, which is the hard way, you can pick it up from other people that have messed up all right i wanted to say something else but you know people that have 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 went left on on their uh on in in their life you know you can learn a lot from them so uh if you're gonna max your card out for a good reason okay i understand we all go through things in life and maybe you have an emergency pop up but if you're going to max out, max out for some type of business purpose that's going to see you a return. So off that tangent, let me bring it back. You max your card out, say the one that was due on the first. All right. So you maxed it out. 
say, you know, on the the 20th of the previous month, right? So your, your payment is coming up due. You want to make sure that that card is at least paid down either in full or in between two and six percent of your total limit on that card okay and the reason being is because even though you max the card out right it's it's not going to report that you have a balance say your your card that's due on the first is is ten thousand dollars it's not going to report that you know you owe ten thousand dollars because well you maxed it out two weeks prior and you paid it before the due date so when they actually report it's going to report as say a hundred dollars old or two hundred dollars old or five hundred dollars old all right so very important y'all know when your due date is and the statement closing date now i told you two days some cards is three days there are some cards that take like four or five days before after your your closing or, or your or your uh, due date before they actually report, so you have a slight grace period. So I'm not saying that you have a, a slight grace period to pay. You have a slight grace period where they report. Okay, very important to know that distinction. But you know, like I just said, make your payments wisely so i kind of just explained that to you um another great thing to do is request a credit limit increase y'all like call your bank up call that card up call that lender and request a credit line increase try to be mindful of whether that specific lender or card does a hard pull for a credit line increase some do so be very, very mindful of that. You want to really do this with soft pull, uh, soft pull credit cards where it's a it's a soft pull. Yeah, they're still looking at your credit, but it's not a hard inquiry. You do not want to get a hard inquiry just to see if you can get a credit limit increase. A lot of these cards and a lot of these credit unions and banks, you can do this through their apps. OK, so if you whatever card you have, Chase uh navy federal go ahead and 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 uh and uh uh go online go on the app and request a credit line increase you know what i mean that's going to raise your total balance which will lower your utilization so again let's say you have a card uh for ten thousand dollars right and you have another card that's you know five grand you got fifteen thousand in total credit but um, you you get a credit limit increase of say ten thousand dollars on on the five thousand dollar card. So now you have a total limit of twenty five grand, right? And remember, before you maxed out the the card two weeks earlier that was due on the first, you maxed that out. So that's not good to have it report but the point i'm making here is instead of having it report that your total balance of fifteen thousand, you owe ten thousand and now it's a balance of ten thousand on a total credit limit of twenty five thousand it's a lot better all right so you know you you're, you're under fifty percent which isn't great but it's not as bad as being at 90% or 100% utilization, you get me? So keep that in mind. Um, request credit line increases with your, with your banks and your lenders. Um, generally could do this every three to six months depending on the institution, all right? You wanna avoid closing credit cards uh, because credit age is very important in your, uh, on your profile. Lenders want to see that you've you've had a long, long, long history of paying your bills on time, right? You don't you don't want to, you know, just have a credit card you got two months ago, and now you're aiming for the stars because you're like, well, you know, I got a card, and you know, now I'm going for more funding two months later, and the banks are looking and saying, well, you only have this one card you got two months ago, like. 
how do we how do we know for real like you're responsible how do we know for real that you're disciplined and we can trust you by handing you this unsecured debt that's backed by absolutely nothing and expecting that you're going to pay us back in a timely fashion um and give us our money you know what i mean uh they don't know that so don't close credit cards just because you're not using it even if you got to use five ten dollars here and there you know on that card just to just to keep it active because there are cards that if you do not use it over a certain amount of time yeah they will shut you the f down all right so you don't want your car just shut down for inactivity. So go ahead and, you know, buy that cup of coffee or, or you know, get your uh, a couple gallons of gas with, with the card every now and then and pay it off immediately just to keep the thing active. Right. So don't close your credit cards. Um, spread your purchases across cards. All right. So if you have a big purchase, um, maybe swipe 2000 on one card, 3000 on another card, you know, and 5 grand on another card, right? So you you're spreading it across. And all those cards are going to have different due dates. So it'll give you a slight bit of leeway in how you need to figure out your game plan to pay it back, all right? Uh you want to also think about paying more than once a month. So okay, you got your card due on the 1st you, you you owe a thousand dollars on it and you know it's two weeks out go ahead and you know make a payment that week you know what i'm saying and then make a payment the next week and then on the due date or right before the due date go ahead and bang out another payment you understand so that will one keep the interest down because you're you're constantly making payments and most of these cards, if not all of them, have daily interest amounts. So you're, you're beating the interest, you are uh, saving money, and you're knocking down that that uh, that that payment, and you know showing the institutions that you're responsible. All right. And like I said in another video, you also want to set up uh, alerts, whether that's alert for your payment dates. Uh, or balance alerts, all right? So say you have a lot of automatic subscriptions or payments and things of, of that nature, right? And you know, you're know you not keeping abreast of every single, okay, this this got charged today and that got charged on Friday and oh, oh on the second, this is getting charged. Sell up a balance alert that'll give you an alert like, hey, you know, you're 50% into your, into your balance or, or you're, you know, 20% into your credit limit, you know, you want to be able to uh, have those alerts set so you don't get in trouble. All right. So I'm going to end this video off here. Um, once again, we have pay off your debt in full each month. We have time your payments wisely. We also have request a credit limit increase with the banks. You also have avoid closing credit cards. You want to also spread your purchase across cards. You want to pay more than once a month if you can and set up balance alerts. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Guys, I want to I want you to really get into a mindset of financial literacy. That's why I'm kind of going off into this, even though the channel is about real estate. Um, this matters as well, because, you know, a lot of times you're going to be getting funding, whether that's through a traditional lender or a private banker or even family and friends. Hell, do, do your family and friends trust you enough to hand you $20,000 so you can get that building? Do they? Have you have you shown discipline and responsible uh, uh, behavior that would have your friends or family or your significant others say, what, you need 30,000? Huh, yeah, there you go, go on and bust that move. If they don't, check yourself man you gotta like step your game up all right so i'll end it here again if you found value in this video and this content please go ahead like share and subscribe we want to get this out and and allow people to soak this up this information up and again we have that free vip group link is in the description below go ahead and join us we'd love to have you uh, comment below as well 
anything that you that that you've seen that work for you or uh things that you have done that that's helped keep your utilization down i'd love to engage with you have a conversation so go ahead and share your experiences and comments uh below in the comment section and until next time again it's adam with global abundance llc signing off and i'll see you in the next video